There are two issues that I want to come out very clearly. On the issue of debt, yes, we agreed. We agree that the debt level is unmanageable, that we have to do something about it. But the mistake that we are making as a country, and more particularly Kenya Kwanzaa, is to imagine that we are going to collect more from Kenyans by increasing tax rates. The, we warned that this is going to be counterproductive. You've just seen it. The results of the first quarter of this year has shown that the revenue collection has dipped by 79 billion shillings. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it is counterproductive. There's nothing that has happened. What has happened is we have sent a wrong signal to the economy. Kenyans are tightening. The moment you start attacking people's salary, people start consciously not to spend because they, have, they believe they don't have enough money. And you are effect, affecting economy so that even if you increase production, there will be no people to buy those goods because people are tightening. If you looked around, you will find many people. The, 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 the roads have been clear, uh, smart. Actually, if you are driving in Nairobi, you feel very nice because there are no many vehicles on the road. Why? Because people are tightening their belts. The moment people start tightening, there is no money in the economy. There is no demand in the economy. Even if you supply those goods, who will buy them? Now, something that I want to correct, I did not mean that uh, stimulating the economy means injecting money by giving uh, people a kind of support that we saw in the US. No. What I'm saying is don't attack the people's disposable income, what we already have. In fact, the inflationary pressures that we've had recently, and I want to challenge my colleague here, has not been demand driven. That, that would be a lie. We have not had inflation in this country because people have too much money in their pockets to spend. No. It has been because of supply, basically the food products, the food stuff. That is where, that has been the cause of inflation in the country. It has nothing to do because we didn't have food, period. So it is not because we have so much money in our pockets that we cannot spend. So if you come with economic theories of demand push, demand pool and supply push, and you, those will be, will remain theories. The practical aspect of it is that people didn't have food to buy, and so the price has shot up. If you ask me, you, the tightening of the economy and mopping up money that is happening in the U.S. is completely different from ours. In the U.S., they injected, literally injected money into the economy. It is long since we did that. In fact, the closest we came to that was during COVID when we decided to uh, try to inject a little bit yeah, more money transfers. to the economy through yes. cash transfers and also increasing disposable income by reducing the tax right. rates. But I would tell you this, uh, Smart. What we need to do, and when we come now to the depreciation of the shilling, is that we must encourage direct foreign investment in this country. You cannot encourage direct foreign investment by having unpredictable tax regime. People don't know, those who are coming to Kenya, do not know what will be the tax rate tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You brought in housing levy, you increased income tax on very many uh, items. Yeah. You have now brought in, you brought in NSSF, you have now brought in NHIF, I mean, which you are now calling social fund. I mean, we must have a predictable tax regime to encourage direct foreign investment. If we do that, we will increase supply. Otherwise, let us not just think about supply in this country in terms of food stuff. Right. We must go uh, beyond that. But fi my final comment on industrialization, Chair, mm. I want to challenge the government. Let us not imagine that government can do everything. The government is not supposed to invest in businesses. The government is supposed to create conducive environment for businesses to thrive. Mm -hmm. That is my opinion. 